Is Bitcoin right now breaking the horizontal support of this descending triangle, guys? And does that mean that Bitcoin can reach the level of 24,000 US dollars like we have been discussing in previous videos? In today's video, we are going to have a look at the Bitcoin chart. We are going to have a look at the regular financial markets as well, because right now we can see that the incentive from investors in the crypto markets and in the regular financial markets is actually quite similar i want to share my opinion on that so yeah that will be the topic of today's video guys with that being said my name is sharon welcome to the blockchain today the channel where you subscribe for daily crypto videos right now let's jump into the bitcoin price action but guys before we are zooming in on the bitcoin price action let me quickly remind you if you are interested in trading bitcoin below this video i have a couple of affiliate links which are leading to exchanges that i'm using personally myself right here we have the bybit exchange one of the best exchanges to long and short bitcoin and a variety of altcoins if you right now sign up with my affiliate link down below you can get a 600 us dollar bonus also i have created a cryptocurrency trading course guys where you will learn everything about how to trade cryptocurrencies and how to create your own profitable trading strategy right now there is a 50 percent discount using the code trade 50 you can find more information with the link down below or at the blockchain today.com and then guys let's dive into the bitcoin price and yeah actually things are not looking that good right we have been breaking right now below the horizontal support of this potential descending triangle we got a yeah slight increase amount of volume not not really a significant amount of volume but we also know for a fact that there is just a lot of there is not much volume in the past weeks going on and there's just not much bitcoin on the exchanges right but what about this price action guys is this a confirmation that bitcoin is going to reach um 24 000 us dollars going to our towards our next support which is in these regions right here right here approximately starting at 24 000 going down to approximately 22 000 and yes that is possible we are getting more and more signs right now that uh yeah this scenario is seems seems more likely right however guys there are still some things that are holding me back to be yeah to be very confident about this specific scenario and let me let me elaborate on why i think that so first of all we have a descending triangle right here we have a yeah we have a horizontal support with a declining resistance that horizontal support you can also set lower of course then we would not yet have a breakout but yeah if we can see the multiple touches are approximately right here we got a drop small retest and we continue to drop further that's possible we could also see a different pattern right here and that is a kind of declining channel or a falling wedge pattern well let's have a look at both possibilities this could be for example a falling wedge pattern where we have a declining resistance declining support and as you can see there could be some last hope right here where bitcoin is getting supported at approximately slightly above 28,000 us dollars let's pick it around uh, let's take it in the middle 28,500 I, I would say that right now that is one of the last chances for bitcoin to yeah really resume to go into a uh, yeah supply zone right being bought up and then see a nice bounce from that i think that is still possible guys but yeah like like i've said in my previous videos as well we are seeing a lot of weak signals right here in the immediate short term time frame so it is possible uh, and even likely that Bitcoin is seeing a decisive break and is going to see lower levels. There are just a couple of things, in my opinion, that are going against this argument. And that is, for example, the biggest argument I can throw in for this fact is actually the negative funding rates. And if I were to bring out the negative funding rates, which you can do right here, indicators. And yeah, this one is called Bitmax Funding and Premium Index from Neobutain and yeah what we basically see let's go to the daily time frame let's go to the daily time frame right here is that we we still have yeah, a longer period of time let me get rid of this march 2020 because it makes it a little bit unclear so what we basically see here is that we have already for a period of time negative funding rates which yeah basically means that the majority of the traders out there are trying to make money on shorting bitcoin and that is also it has been 
profitable in the beginning right so far it has been profitable to short bitcoin during this period but most of the time guys we are not seeing a sustainable structured move to the downside after a longer period of time with negative funding rates right here so we got for example if we have a look at the drop we have seen in 2018 where we also um, where we have seen a top in the bull market right here 20,000 we got a huge descending triangle right here and during that triangle we also got negative funding rates and actually if we zoom in on that it's, it's actually quite interesting then we can see for example right here we got negative funding rates but we haven't seen a structured move to the downside no it's the opposite we actually saw a bounce to the upside right here as well we got positive funding rates exactly at the top right here then the price move back downwards and right here we got negative funding rates which caused the price up and during this period we also had negative funding rates however guys at the end right here we can see we had a period of positive funding rates which was needed to get this to trick all these investors and to get this big of a dump you know so it's a different situation than what we are seeing right now and historically guys we almost always see yeah the the opposite happening with the funding rates so if we have a longer period of time of positive funding rates as especially extreme positive funding rates it will cause selling pressure in the price of bitcoin and the other way around like when we are seeing negative funding rates so that's why i still think it is doubtable it's a doubtable event right here for bitcoin to really see this big of a drop and go towards or towards our next support right here at twenty four thousand us dollars is it possible yes it is possible is it likely it is getting more and more likely the the longer we are trading below the support because also when we have a look at the weekly time frame we can see that right now bitcoin is trading below the 50 week moving average so we lost actually another key moving average right here uh, we haven't got a weekly close below this level yet that is actually quite important to see as well because if we have a look at previous time for example the um yeah the when we've entered the bear market of 2018 we also saw the price going below the 50 week moving average but we never have seen that weekly close so if bitcoin really wants to remain even slightly slightly bullish in this formation guys we really should not get that weekly close below the 50 week moving average right that is that is a very important event so right here we have seen it as well bitcoin went below the 50 week moving average but we didn't start it weekly close and we still got a bounce and don't underestimate these bounces these bounces are actually quite high this was a bounce of yeah almost 100 percent so that is yeah that was quite a significant bounce right right here we have seen a bounce of let me calculate that right here from the bottom to the top a bounce of approximately 53 percent so these were actually quite significant but yeah if we just look at the technical structure right now it's not looking all too good for bitcoin and i think the of course right now we have to consider bitcoin to see lower levels right bitcoin is in a downtrend we are losing support and the last chance that bitcoin actually has right here is to enter a certain supply zone which could be at 28,500, where a lot of buyers are going to step in and then we are going to see yeah something like this where bitcoin is going to go down have this last one wake up and then eventually that is creating a lot of selling pressure a lot of buyers are stepping in and we are seeing bitcoin reversing from there something similar like we have seen uh, in in 2020 in march 2020 where we also saw bitcoin just making a gigantic drop right here but also entering a certain yeah supply zone a lot of buyers were stepping in and from there we saw a yeah quite a quick recovery and bitcoin just reversed into the other way so th is this now the more likely scenario no it is not the more likely scenario the more likely scenario right now is just that bitcoin is looking bearish and that we are going towards our next support zone which is between the 24,000 and 22,000. however guys i think it is very important to to look at the other signals during this formation because i have the feeling that right now we are we are seeing the majority of the investors and traders out there everybody or the majority is expecting bitcoin to see yeah a huge capitulation to see a 
structured move to the downside and to enter that bear market right and so far from this drop so far from this 50% drop we haven't seen any significant bounces yet that is something quite worrying as well why right? so that can be a bearish signal of course because nobody's buying up bitcoin but it can also be a bullish signal that soon we are or soon we we should be able to bitcoin should be able to bounce from one of these levels so that is one concern that i'm having right here then the second concern is that over a longer period of time we have seen negative funding rates which almost never is being followed by a structured move to the downside so we can see a event which is going to confuse a lot of people why right, to trap investors so we see a huge drop uh capitulation wick right which eventually is being bought up quite quickly and then we 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 reverse from there that is possible um that is something we have to consider so that's another another thing i think is very important another indicator showing us right here that you know, there might not be a lot of fuel for downside momentum for downside for selling pressure on the price of bitcoin then guys another bullish signal is a on-chain chart and we have been talking quite often about on-chain chart and they are not they are not good to predict the price in the immediate short-term time frame right but they are good to see what is happening in the markets who is owning the bitcoin and what i what is the behavior of investors or the behavior of whales this chart is showing the behavior of whales and here you can see the supply held by addresses with a balance between one to ten uh, one thousand to ten thousand bitcoin and we are back at the levels when bitcoin was trading around sixty thousand us dollars and as you can see right here the moment when bitcoin was entering the stopping formation whales have been selling their bitcoin holdings right here and during this drop when bitcoin was in this formation like the potential bottoming formation but the consolidation structure we have been we have been in over the past couple of weeks we actually see that wills are accumulating and that is normally what we want to see before bitcoin is going to reverse that we want to see the smart money entering the market and taking bitcoin off the exchanges taking off the supply so later we feel a supply shock which is driven by retail fomo and then once we are seeing bitcoin going to a top we are seeing the smart money the wills are most of the time yeah, the first entities who are selling their bitcoin position so this is another yeah, another chart which is which is telling us that in the midterm macro perspective bitcoin is still looking bullish of course we have the fear and greed index which yeah over a longer period of time right now has been at extreme greed we have been in a very uh sorry extreme fear we have been in a very fearful sentiment and this is yeah slightly confirming the sentiment that we are seeing in the funding rates right that the majority of the people are shorters right now the majority of the investors or the sentiment is quite fearful normally that is a great contrarian indicator and showing us that uh yeah there, there might be a possibility that the majority of the investors are at the wrong side of the story and that we might not see that structure move to twenty four thousand us dollars but will we first right here and eventually go towards uh, yeah reverse into a uptrend so the the things to watch right here, and I, I want to show actually one more chart i just remember that let's do that i want to quickly show the s p 500 because i think the s p 500 is very correlated with bitcoin due to the fact that the incentive of the investors who are in bitcoin is similar to the incentive of the investors that we are seeing in the s p 500 and what we can see right here guys let me get rid of the funding rates is that the s p 500 had a big sell-off right we had quite a big sell-off we have a huge gap normally same as in bitcoin gaps tend to be filled okay so it's possible that we in the short term fill this gap which could uh, bring buying pressure on the price of bitcoin nevertheless guys we are still holding above this support uh, which is not the most significant support but we are still holding above this rising channel let me go to the weekly time frame to show you what i mean guys i think personally that it will be very likely that we see the s p 500 and bitcoin topping out around a similar period right and i think when the s p 500 will bre break back into this um rising channel there will be a very bearish sign for big no bitcoin for all the markets out there i think we are going to see a lot of selling pressure uh, but we have not yet seen that right and i always compare it right here with 2008 
we can also see it slightly right here we also had a channel right here we left the channel we enter a blow of top phrase we got the dot com bubble bam we got a huge correction multi-year bear market 2008 right here multi-year long uptrend rising channel something similar we are seeing right now even right now it's more accelerated than back then we left the channel to the upside we entered the blow of top phase but we got a lot of volatility and eventually we broke back into the channel that was the signal party is over guys we are going down and right now party is still actually on we are still above this channel and we haven't broken back into this channel so i still expect the s p 500 to see increased volatility and to enter this blow of top phase which will end this year might be end the beginning or the first half of next year but i do expect yeah quite a big correction in the uh, in the financial markets um, due to the signals that I'm seeing right in the chart but right now we are not there yet it doesn't feel like we are not there yet if if the S&P 500 would decisively break back into this channel of course I would switch my perspective on this subject but right now it's not yet the case and yeah therefore it is also more difficult for Bitcoin to enter a multi-year long bear market due to the fact that the incentive of the investors of the S&P 500 is similar to the uh, incentive of the investors in bitcoin on a global scale right to escape the dollar and to escape inflation right it would be weird to see now a decoupling where bitcoin goes into a multi-year long bear market and the s p 500 continues to go into its blow of top phase um is it possible it is possible i just think it is uh yeah it is just something i'm watching right here and if we were to break back into this rising channel then definitely i would agree on the fact that that is extremely bearish for the crypto markets as well so guys what can we expect with the price of bitcoin well right now we are seeing bitcoin losing support right we are seeing um yeah we are seeing bitcoin losing the support so guys the things that i'm watching right now in the bitcoin chart right now we are looking on the daily time frame is of course a retest a retest of 30,000 right here if we get that retest and we get rejected we cannot reclaim that retest and that would be of course a very bearish signal showing us a, a nice con continuation to the downside the last um, chance for Bitcoin to to become bullish or to make that reversal right here is definitely approximately and this is a approximate number guys if we are going to see a huge fake out to the downside it could be um, yeah slightly lower slightly higher of course but that will be 28,500 and that would that would mean that we break below the low we have created right here and that we also would break below the declining support of this descending channel or this falling wedge pattern it depends how you look at it so these are these are some things that i'm watching the next support levels that i'm watching is 24,000 to yeah 22,000 approximately if we were to lose that we can test the previous all-time highs of 2017 and go to the level of 20,000 us dollars um still guys i kind of doubt right now that this is the, that this is the scenario that we are in so i would highly suggest to yeah to to still be still stand open for the different scenario of bitcoin and watch these levels closely because we might we might see in something happening like this where we see a drop quickly supplies being bought up with bitcoin and we are seeing a quick reversal i'm not saying right now is the more likely scenario bitcoin is looking weak right we are losing support so technically it's not looking all too good but do take in mind that this is a possibility and also for now the last chance of bitcoin to yeah reclaim some levels and to see that bounce guys let me know what you think is going to happen with the price of bitcoin do you think we are we are it's a, we are able to see that fake out right here and to reverse or do you think yeah bitcoin right now is lost we are going to the levels of 24,000, or we might even go to the levels of 20,000 us dollars guys let me know in the comment section down below and for every single one of you who hasn't subscribed to the channel yet make sure to subscribe 
hit the bell icon so you get notified whenever i upload a new video for all the traders out there guys quick reminder if you are interested in trading bitcoin below this video i have a couple of affiliate links one from bybit where you can get a 600 us dollar bonus my trading course if you want to learn how to create your own profitable trading strategy right now there is a 50 percent discount using the code trade 50 and we of course have as well the famous exchange and the prime xbt platform and which is slightly different than bybit so for example on the famous exchange you can trade also on the spot markets with multiple altcoins on bybit you can only trade with bitcoin and ethereum on the spot market and on prime xbt you you have a uh, other functionalities like co-fasting where you can copy other traders and yeah, earn basically bitcoin based on the trade so these are quite interesting if you are interested in signing up to one of these platforms you can find all the bonuses and my affiliate links down below in the pinned comment guys i want to wish every single one of you a awesome day today and i will see every single one of you in the next video